Hey friends and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you my personal portfolio. Uh, I'll show you how you can take this code from my GitHub channel, use it as your own, uh, add different applications to modify it. Uh, I'll also show you all the different um, aspects of the project. I'll show you how I build it uh, using Tailwind, Next.js and TypeScript. The project has a lot of attention to detail. Uh, and as I mentioned, the best part of it, it's open source. So you can just take it and use this portfolio as, as your own. First of all, you should go to my GitHub channel. I will leave a link in the description on how you get there. When you're here, you can click on this, Daniel Fryer, Mac OS. Uh, I have a lot of other repositories, but it's old projects and I don't use them anymore. Uh, I also have a lot of private repositories, but this one is for you guys. As you see here, we are on the repository page. We have the link directly to the page here. You can go through all the different stuff. But if you roll down, I have left like a, a nice readme so you guys can read about it. I'm also having a MIT license. Uh, MIT is just saying that if you do use this, I would like that you guys uh, mention me or something like that. That's fine. The demo link is here. I have added like features so you guys can see what's actually in the application right now. We are required Node, JS 16 or higher. You can use NPM, YARN, PMPM, whatever you like. Uh, I just prefer these. So to get started, I have opened a terminal. You can also just go ahead and fork the project or just download the zip and use it as your own. But this is like the easiest way. So what I do, I just copy this paste it into the terminal, click enter, and I will have the project in this folder where I placed it. I only have the project on my computer, but if you don't have it, you have to cd into the Mac OS portfolio file so that you are at the root of the project. I have it here. I already have the project, so it doesn't really matter for me. So that's fine. If you don't know how to do this, do this step, just ask AI or something, it's really, really easy. You can go ahead and npm install. And I need you guys to force it this time because we are using a version of ShadCN that's not that have a React date picker that is a bit old, but we can just do it like this. Once you have installed, it will look something like this and you have everything that you need to do. This just install the node modules and the next thing up here. What we do now, we type npm run develop dev and press enter. You can see now that the my Mac portfolio is running on localhost 3000. So we go also for the password, you can just type whatever and it's fine. So now let me go through the actual stuff that we have for the application. Right now we have added sleep mode, restart, shutdown, and we can log out. These are just simulating what, what it feels like to do the stuff. And we also have this search here where you can search for the app you want to open. I've added this where you can turn dark and light mode. I prefer dark mode and you can turn down the display. I've added like a Shopify thing where you can play this, this currently on this song. There's a link to the GitHub. There's a terminal where if you type help, you can see different commands. Who am I, etc. So that's just stuff like that. In the notes, that's probably the most important part. Uh, I have chose to write stuff about me and my experiences, my skills. So you guys can go ahead and modify these and just do whatever you want. There's also this VS code that is directly to the application that we're using. So you can see this is actually the same as this. We have the launch pad. I have had like a weather app. Uh, this is just mock data, but uh, you guys get the idea. I have also added a snake game. Let me just make it bigger. Uh, play up here. And then you can play a little bit of snake. So this is just like just stuff to to fill uh, so that you guys can continue working on it and, and do whatever you want with the project. 
I've also done like small different features. For example, Wi-Fi, if you turn it off, you can't access the browser. If you turn it on, of course you can access the browser. Um, the battery is also using the batteries API. So if your computer is allowing this, uh, it will simulate the actual uh, percentage of your battery on the laptop. So now let me show you what you can do if you want to like add another application to this. Let's say we want to add an application over here. Uh, we can just for now just make it blank and just say hello, uh, hello YouTube or something. What I would do, I would first of all open VS Code with the project. Once I'm at the project, I want to have YouTube, Window and Doc opened. I go here to my components, I find apps and let's just add a new app, call it test. .tsx. Uh, I imagine we can just copy this, maybe make this smaller, put it in here, and let's just clean it up so it has nothing to do with YouTube, test props, put it in here, here, we can just say hello YouTube, remove this, there's also an image, we can remove that. We can remove this and we can actually also remove this. Perfect. Now we have added the Hello YouTube window, app, whatever we want to call it. We go to window, we go up here and we import test from like this components, applications, test. So it's right here. We go down here, we write test, we save this, and now we want to say where we want to have it. So for example, if we want a doc, we can do the doc, we could also do the launch pad, but for now, let's just put it in the doc. So we go here, we say, let's just copy this, say test, call it test, let's do a YouTube PNG, you can just replace this with your PNGs to test here. And I think that's actually it. So let's go see the application. Here we are at the application. You see now we have our test application down here. It's called test. And we, as we chose the YouTube uh, PNG, we are using that icon, but you can replace this. So let's open it. And as you see, we have a window here saying, hello, YouTube. So that's how easy it actually is to add applications to this project. I've tried to make it, it as clean as possible and I really like uh, where we ended up with this. So to end this video, I just want to say that if you want to change like different stuff on the page, you can just go ahead in the different files, for example, components, apps and mail, and you can just change these, these kind of things to your personal mail so that it's not my portfolio. Um, besides that, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm thankful for all the love that I've gotten on the YouTube channel and for the project. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, just uh, just ask. Uh, don't hesitate. Um, yeah, just uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like. Uh, bye bye.